In this lesson, we're going to show you how to do a group to segment your users based on their interests. Go ahead and go back to the Manage Subscribers section, hover over Groups and click it. Click on Create Groups in the top right, and then I recommend using either the checkbox or the radio button. If you're low on space on your website and you want things to be small and clean, then click on the drop down. Now, use a group detail that's going to signify what this list is going to be split into. So I have a music production website. I'm going to split this into Ableton, Logic, and Fruity Loops. These are the three main softwares professional music producers use to make their music on a computer. So I might want to send out some specific things about these softwares. And I don't want someone who uses Logic getting my emails about Fruity Loops or Ableton because they might get annoyed and unsubscribe. It's just not relevant to them. So I'm going to give people who subscribe to my list a chance to click on which digital audio workstation they're using before they sign up to my list at all. From that point forward, I could target them individually through the back end of MailChimp. Go ahead and click Save. And that's it. You're done. It will now be actually inserted into the form that you put onto your website. We're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. I'll cover the form in a later lesson, but for now you know how to set up a group.